the present video is uh, the first video on digital circuits uh, here uh, various number systems are widely used uh, in uh, digital circuits microprocessors computers etc have been uh, discussed uh, these uh, number systems are decimal, binary, octal, hexadecimal and other uh, base systems. Numbers can uh, easily be converted uh, from one base uh, to the other base. Binary arithmetic especially the tools complement uh, arithmetic is discussed uh, through examples and different uh, codes are used in digital systems for representing numerals alphabets etc. ASCII code is the most commonly used code in uh, computers and uh, the understanding and the knowledge of the number systems and the codes is very important for the effective understanding of uh, digital systems and microprocessors and uh, if we look into the earlier gate papers we observed that uh, most of the uh, problems which have appeared in the previous gate examinations are based on the binary arithmetic especially the tools complement arithmetic so we'll try to uh, uh, give uh, an uh, elaborate uh, example uh, for tools complement arithmetic for the better understanding of the uh, arithmetic. So now uh, we start with the uh, number systems and codes. This is the first topic on uh, digital circuits. And uh, what we observed is the progress uh, in the semiconductor technology has led to the development of integrated circuits and integrated circuits have revolutionized digital computers and other digital systems. So digital systems uh, uh, operate on one of the two states uh, uh, that is a, basically a, they operate on the binary system that is two states uh, on or off and the other is that the integrated circuits which are used here in digital systems are more reliable, accurate small size and high speed and that is the reason that uh, digital circuits have become more common as compared to analog circuits these days so uh, we start with the number systems uh, like uh, we know these number systems find use in microprocessors, computers etc the most common number system is the uh, decimal number system which has uh, its digits from 0, 1, 2 up to 9 so there are 10 digits including 0 so it is said to be having a base of 10 and the uh, number system uh, which we use with uh, computers and microprocessors is the number system uh, uh, that is a binary number system uh, that is only having two states like 0 or 1 so it has only two bits are two digits we call them as a two digits or we call them a bits so it's a base two system so what we observe in general any number system with radix having n digits to left uh, there is a general uh, governing equation uh, which can help us to convert uh, from any radix to decimal radix uh, uh, this is the equation that uh, uh, he say it says that uh, then if you have radix r having n digits to left and m digits to the right of decimal point can be expressed as a n r to the power n a n minus one r minus one and so on. And here coefficients a j uh, uh, are uh, from zero to r minus one. These are the corresponding digits uh, of that number system and coefficients a n uh, is the MSD most significant digit and a minus m. a n is MSD, MSD most significant digit and this is least significant digit of the number system LST. Okay. Uh, 
now uh, number system uh, a general number system having uh, a, a table uh, you can see the table here uh, here we have indicated all the number system with different radix so number system radix and number of digits uh, like binary here two digits ternary uh, having 0, 1, 2, 3 digits. Octal number system has 8 digits, 0 to 7. Decimal has 0 to 9. And hexadecimal number system has 0 to 1, 9. And then A, B, C, D up to F. So, uh, uh, most common of these is the uh, 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 is the binary number system for the digital circuits. Uh, but what we observe here is a uh, binary number system because this base is 2 it takes a uh, more number of digits uh, to represent a particular number like if there is a binary string of 1 1 1 up to 8 uh, bits uh, this can be this is basically having 8 bits but it could be entered as a 2 digits only in a hexadecimal number system FF so by using uh, the coding of uh, I would say the digits uh, we can represent uh, in a shorter form a long strings otherwise entering a long uh, binary data could take uh, very long or, uh, and could uh, lead to mistakes also now this is uh, something uh, very standard which is available in most of the books number system conversion decimal to any radix and you can successive division for integer part and successive multiplication for fractional part and any radix to decimal apply the radix uh, being converted by the formula which have been uh, uh, discussed earlier for any radix now uh, something uh, which is uh, quite important is that uh, how do we count uh, a number uh, in any base uh, r counting the base r we know uh, you have to understand very carefully here count the sequences uh, through character set uh, in decimal like 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 9 when all the digit, digits are over next count would involve the carry from the units place to tens place so next count would be like 10 zero here and then 1, 1, 1, 2 and so on and another when all the digits are over again uh, another carry would be added here like that so that would be the way to count normally here uh, like binary counting we say so we want to count from 0 to 5 decimal this is 0, 0, 0, 1 digits are over now the carry is generated to uh, next uh, uh, significant bit so now it is 1, 0, 1, 1 and again the carry is generated next significant digit so 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 and so on so count in uh, radix 5 the count uh, proceeds uh, as 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4 and the digits are over so again the carry is generated 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 again after 1, 4 the carry is uh, uh, generated so it's 2, 0, 2, 1 and, and so on so this is the way you can uh, count the numbers uh, in binary uh, count the numbers in any radix now binary arithmetic binary arithmetic is uh, uh, very important uh, uh, for this circuit most common binary arithmetic is uh, one's complement that is uh, mostly used for logical manipulation and the other one is two's complement arithmetic application and uh, uh, that is uh, used for arithmetic application digital circuits are used for both uh, uh, for use for the above subtraction can also be done using addition and most of the gate problems uh, has been observed from the previous years are on complement arithmetic and procedure for all types of addition and subtractions are given in multiple choice questions uh, of uh, uh, on our web website of moderate type of uh, uh, MCQs
in number systems. Now, uh, we'll uh, try to give you an example and try to illustrate. You have to be very clear about uh, this arithmetic. Now, the problem here is add x and y, where x is minus 8 decimal and y is minus 10 decimal and they are to be added in two's complement uh, form. Now the solution is 8 uh, decimal we are converting into the binary form that is 100. Two's complement of this will give me 11000. Now y is uh, 10 decimal to convert into uh, into corresponding two's complement. So we get this two's complement of uh, minus, uh, 10. There is minus 10. So these uh, uh, added. Uh, so we are adding uh, the first digit is uh, minus 8, minus 8, and this is minus 10 here. So what this uh, uh, note here, uh, we call this, uh, uh, this is 1100 is minuend, and this is subtrahend which we want to subtract from this. So this is uh, like uh, 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 if you add these uh, numbers here because uh, this is uh, the addition here so 0 0 and what we observe here a overflow is generated here that means uh, the what we see here this operand this indicates the uh, sign of the number. So here 1 means it's a negative number, it's also a negative number. The result does not have a negative number. So operand 1 is a negative number. Result is 0, so it's a positive. So it's not possible. It's not possible that uh, we get uh, two negative numbers and uh, get a positive result. So that means there is some problem somewhere and uh, basically the problem is uh, because of the occurrence of the overflow. Because since the overflow has occurred, uh, overflow has occurred, uh, it's uh, due to insufficient magnitude of the bit positions. That means the number of bits we have assigned uh, for these numbers are not enough and that is why this problem is coming. So uh, there are two methods to eliminate this problem. One is uh, we can interpret the results suitably. Uh, overflow bit is uh, considered as a sign bit and other bits as a magnitude and result is into its complement form and you can get the result that's a one form and the second uh, solution could be re rework the problem with sufficient uh, bit positions and you can get uh, the proper answer for it okay so that is the way you should uh, deal it uh, in uh, present problem overflow uh, bits give uh, uh, overflow bits give sign as negative result is in two's complement form and this result is this is sign and this is representing the magnitude part so it is minus 18 10 <coughs> so this is the result for this problem now there is another very important uh, I would say uh, in very important uh, uh, topic uh, on which a good number of questions uh, are asked are this is a sign bit extension. Now it happens that uh, if the number of bits are not enough, uh, we add uh, uh, bits to our word and uh, uh, if we add uh, these bits to our word then how they should be added. The procedure is sign bit extension method. This is sign bit extension method. That means uh, uh, some bits are to be added, extend the sign bit as per the MSB to the left. If MSB is 1, most significant bit is 1, then extend by adding 1 and if MSB is 0, then extend by adding 0. This is very important rule and you will find that this is uh, uh, will used uh, when we will be uh, solving the problems of uh, gate uh, examinations. Now, uh, this uh, is about the codes. 
Now, uh, code is a group of symbols uh, that stand for decimal, alphabet, etc. characters. And binary code decimal represents uh, binary representation for decimal numbers. Some codes are suitable for arithmetic operations. So, we are just uh, mentioning some of the codes like natural BCD. Natural BCD is a group of uh, four binary digits uh, which represent a single decimal digit. Some combinations here do not exist like from 100 to 111. They are not permitted in the BCD. Now, weighted binary codes uh, means uh, these codes are weighted. That means they are weights to each uh, positions like 8421. This, uh, this binary, natural binary is 8421 code. It's a weighted code. XS3 code, 7421 code, 5311, etc. These are the various codes having their weights. Uh, now, another uh, variety of codes is self-complementing codes. Uh, these codes have the same arithmetic and logical complements. Such codes and a good number of codes have this uh, property of self-complementation. Now, another is about uh, unit distance uh, code. Uh, uh, we want to get a data from uh, uh, transducers. These codes change one bit uh, uh, between successive values and uh, it's only to avoid the error and uh, gray code is an example of the unit distance code. Alpha numeric codes are the most common codes. Uh, uh, they are used to encode the data uh, other than the numbers like alphabets. Maybe small alphabets, big alphabets and other special characters. 7-bit and 8-bit ASCII codes are used. Abstract code is another alpha numeric code. That is not very common. Uh, abstract is the most common code. Uh, then uh, we come to this complement uh, codes. Uh, it's, uh, again, uh, it's the uh, same as ones and twos complements. Uh, uh, arithmetic and this. Uh, uh, so also sometimes we call uh, ones or twos complements also a binary radix and diminishing radix codes that are R minus one codes. So this uh, we have already talked about uh, the ones and twos complement codes. The last uh, which we'll uh, talk about is ones and twos complements. Uh, uh, how they compare and uh, how they are effective in use. How they could be used. Now, uh, what we observe here, once complement is easier to implement. That means if you complement each bit, complement each bit, you get the once complement. But uh, requires two steps in subtraction. Because the carry is to be added uh, to the result, so it needs two subtraction, two uh, processes, arithmetic process involved. And it's only involves only one step, so two's complement is better that way. It's a good for logical operations if you want to complement a particular byte or word, you can use a one's complement. But for arithmetic operations, the two's complement is ideal. Now, uh, one disadvantage uh, with one's complement is that it has two zeros and uh, this two's complement has only one zero. So, arithmetic operation, two's complement is the most appropriate uh, code or most, most appropriate uh, binary arithmetic which is used uh, in uh, adders, subtractors, multipliers, dividers and so on. So this is uh, all about number systems and code or we have uh, very briefly uh, just outlined the uh, topics uh, which you should cover uh, looking into the gate uh, syllabus and uh, previous previous year's uh, gate question papers. Okay, thank you.